to coordinate and organize our people. There are no governors who are working. If our governors were working, Namdekan will not see a vacuum to fill. That is the problem. We, look the, the, we leave the main problem and start talking about, uh, you know, declaring sit at home. Why shouldn't they have the sit at home? If people don't want to sit at home, does anybody go to harass them? Even since they made the announcement people should be going to work, out of fear, people should sit at home. They have made it known that it's only the day they will take him to court that they will ask people to sit at home. And I tell you, people are gladly sitting at home. They are not anything. gladly sitting at home. I've sampled a, a whole lot of opinion. People who think that the economy of the Southeast is being battered. How do we, that, we, we, can, we can afford to lose that, to make a point? That's the only way we can make a point now. Because this country has not recognized the contributions of the Igbos in this country. They have not. If not, tell me how the government will be talking about... Uh, there's a, a word they use, to dominate. Mm. That he has issued instruction to the military to dominate Anambra State during the election. Do you know what dominate means? Overwhelm, intimidate. That is even more serious than what iPod is talking about. Because now most people will not be prepared to come out, seeing rows and armored tanks and everything moving around. Because that's the meaning of dominate. We know security is important, but to use the word dominate, which the National Security Advisor re-emphasized and to start with, we are talking about discrimination. You know, the National Security Council just met and took that decision. In that National Security Council, not one human being from the whole of former Eastern region. Not one human being. That is part of what Namdekan is talking about. Injustice, lack of inclusion. Not one human being. Because we are not in the... But, but Chief Dan, just, just a second. We are not in the service, uh, any of the service distance. We're not security advisor, we are not chief of staff, we are nothing. They couldn't even invite, they have two lucky lackeys in the, in the South East. They would have called the governor of Imo State to come and tell them, theoretically, what is it that is happening as a basis of their decision taken. So in the National Security Council, where the decision was taken to dominate Anambra election, there was no Igbo man there, not one. You knew I was, con uh, uh, what do you call it? I was kidnapped on the 26th of yes. last month. Yes and held for about three, four hours before they released me and took my vehicle and every other thing. And I had courage to ask. I was saying the blood of Jesus. I saw young men carrying brand new AK-47 rifles, intimidating myself and my driver. And I got annoyed. I said, God, I've, I'm above 70. I've lived the better part of my life. And I promise you I'll continue saying the truth until I die. And I asked them, what the hell do you think you're doing? He said, if I talk again, you will kill me. I said, you can't kill me. And the young man stopped his vehicle and said, I say, you can't kill me because I'm covered with the blood of Jesus. You can't kill me. I said, 50 years ago, I was almost a major in Biafran Army. And he, he almost worked. Oh, God, did you serve in Biafran Army? I said, yes. If we knew this, we wouldn't have taken up this job. The problem is coming for your own environment. If we knew that you helped to save our people. And I almost wept. And they said, nothing will happen to you and your driver. And they dropped us off about 30 minutes after that. They told us that most of the violence were imported, that they are being paid to go and destroy their own properties from outside, so that they create a problem as Igbos are doing something wrong. Our people have value for life. Igbos have value for life, more than any other tribe in this country. And I make, I, 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 I make good to say it anywhere. Because anybody who goes around this country investing does not hate this country. There was a time I was in one of your programs during the round from 9 to 10 o'clock. Then, then my friend uh, Ibrahim Dankwambo was governor of uh, Gombe State. I had a one-hour program. And I said, can any other tribe tell me who, which tribe has made any contribution to the development of this country, to the patriotism of this country more than Igbos have done? There's no part of this country you go and you don't see any man making an investment. Come to the whole of Eastern region. You don't see an Alpha man with one property. I said it on TV. And not, not one person. The governor called me. The Northern governor, someone that an emergency meeting in Kano. And discussed my, my, um, my program. I said, you see an Alpha man, he's selling currency in Atoweri Road. You don't know where he comes in and when he goes. If you see a Yoruba man, he's a uh, labor, the tailoring service. They won't even buy an empty land. But an Igbo man comes to your place, buys land, develops it, Make sure they build a school. Ibo State Union build a college in Kano in the 50s that everybody was going to school. Is that hatred? Do we hate this country? Why do they hate us so All much? Right,